Michael Delnitz, Chair of Applied Mathematics and Director, Institute for Industrial Mathematics, University of Paderborn. Algorithms for Energy Efficient Autonomous Driving. Yes, at first I would like to thank the organizers for giving me the chance to present some of our work here. This is uh, joint work with the uh, company Heller. Heller is one of the largest European companies uh, developing electric devices for the automotive industry. So the, what are we facing today? We are facing two challenges. We get more and more electric vehicles. And, uh, and you know, there's this, uh, recently there's this additional incentive also in Germany from the German government to buy electric vehicles. On the other hand, we, were, we are uh, looking at autonomous driving. Um, so what we wanted to do in this project is to design some sort of intelligent cruise control which allows you to combine these two things. So we would like to address in particular the uh, uh, several objectives, so like the state of charge for the energy, the range, we would like to increase the range. We would like to make this very comfortable and safe, the autonomous driving, and the intelligent cruise control should take this into account. So what is the enabling technology? It's mathematics. Mathematics, it's in particular multi-objective optimization. Multi-objective optimization has been invented by Wilfredo Pareto about 100 years ago. And Wilfredo Pareto um, said, well, that when, you're, when, you, when you go through life, there is not just one objective which you have to add with, there are several. And, uh, and you have to take this into account. You have to find optimal compromises. This is multi-objective optimization. And of course, we need high performance computing. So let me explain to you what multi-objective optimization is. If you ski, then you can do this safely. You can do cross-country skiing on, a, on, an even, on an even slope. Or you can do this. So this is this, this point here on the set. You, you are very slow in speed, but you are very secure. If you do standard downhill skiing, then you are intermediate. You are somewhere here. You have a medium speed. You have medium security. And if you do things like this, if, and then you have high speed, but you're not very secure. So imagine there's a line here. This is called the Pareto front, and this is what you're after. You're after all these compromises between speed and safety. Let's go to one example in the automotive industry here. Here we have an active suspension system, and we would like to maximize simultaneously safety and comfort. This car here is very safe. There's this, this, this bumpy road here, and then there comes up this ramp. And this car, this blue car, does this very nicely. It's emphasizing safety. If you look at the red car, it's very nicely comfortable here, but it has a problem at the ramp, as you can see. So this is the, uh, so what you like to, what you're looking for is maybe in some, some optimal compromise, some golden compromise in between. There are lots of different applications in this area. Um, Railbound vehicles, which go, autonomous driving, also microgrids, applications in the design of spacecraft trajectories, and our contribution is, our mathematical contribution is to, to compute these Pareto sets and to approximate them with efficient algorithms. So let me come back to the, finally, to the intelligent cruise control. Here's the result for, um, for some track, which is given by Heller, and the car is supposed to go for a fixed time, at the maximum range or at, at a maximum state of charge after this fixed time. Here is the Pareto set. So all these points are optimal in the sense that there's no point which is out here which is better in both objectives. And also you can imagine or you can see that there's a jump here in this Pareto front. This is due to the fact that when this car hits this hill, then you can just let it go without any additional acceleration and you will jump from here to here by not changing the battery state of charge. And finally, here are three cars again. This car is very is on this Pareto front, the blue car. It's going after a very good state of charge after a certain period of time. Here you see the acceleration pedal position, which is uh, giving the optimal control for these different cars. Here you see a car up here. The car is flying, but this is due to the stupidity of a PhD student, not my fault. So it's not. Um, uh, so in fact, you're, you're not, uh, you're not, you're not jumping here. No, not stupidity, maybe, maybe, um, yeah, I don't know, not, this is normal. <laughs> okay, so, so you see, so this is our, oh, I'm, I'm early, do I get two hearts then? <laughs> okay, so this is my, my view on, on autonomous, intelligent cruise control for autonomous driving, and I think mathematics can do a lot of stuff in this area. Thank you very much.